So hi guys, welcome to placements ready. Today's problem is sort by set bit count. But before moving on to the problem, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe that really motivates me to create such amazing content. So let's read the problem statement out. So we are given an array of integers, sort the array in descending order according to count of set bits in binary representation of array elements. Also, for integers having same number of set bits in their binary representations, we have to sort them according to the original position in the array, right? That is our sorting algorithm should be stable in nature, right? So basically the problem is that we have to sort the array such that the number having the most number of set bits by set bit, what I mean having most number of ones when we represent them in the binary representation okay so they should appear first so for example in the input array if we see like 15 has four number of set bits right basically set bits is equal to number of ones in the binary representation of a number then 7 should appear because it has three numbers right then 5 then similarly 3 but here you can observe 5 and 3 have the same number of set bits but 5 appears first uh, in the input array right so in the output 5 should appear first okay so this is our algorithm so stay till the end of the video because i am going to discuss some of the optimizations as well which will help you in clearing the test cases for this problem okay so, so here we can use the sorting algorithm right which is inbuilt in C++ STL but if you don't know about sorting you can watch my videos on this which I have previously taught I will provide the link to this in the description so you can check it out so we can use the sorting based approach basically we can sort this array and we can pass a custom comparator right let's say we name it as compare right then what the compare function do is that it will accept two parameters right but here in the problem it is also written that we have to sort the elements if their index is equal then we have to sort them according to their position so what we will do first step will be to make a vector of pair okay so we will be making a vector of pair of type int comma int and it will basically store the number and its index right then we will sort this vector right and then we will pass on a uh, like comparator right then in the comparator it will be the basically the containers will be of type pair of int comma int right let's say a and pair of int comma int b right now we have to check which is containing the more number of set bits right so let's say a has x number of set bits and b has y number of set bits right i will let you know how to calculate the number of set bits just in a while let's discuss compare function first so we will find x we will find y now we will check if x is equal to equal to y then in that case we have to return that element first which is occurring first in the array right so that we can get easily through the second part of the pair right so in that case we can return a dot second less than b dot second which means the element which appears first will be returned in this case else what we can do we can simply return x greater than y in that case what will happen the number which is having the more number of set bits will be getting returned okay now the problem boils down to counting the set bits right so this is so this can be done in three ways the first one is inbuilt method which is using underscore underscore built in underscore pop count so you can read more about it on documentation of c++ reference.com or geeks for geeks right basically 
when we pass an integer to it, it returns the number of set bits. Now another approach is using a while loop. What we can do? We can have a while loop while uh, let's say for 15 we have to count, right? So 15's binary representation is 1111. Okay. Now we will run our while loop till some condition. Now we will check if n and 1, which means what? Let's say 15. If we end with it, these positions will be 0 and finally we will be getting 1. So if n and 1 is equal to equal to 1, we will increment the count. And now we have to check for these bits, right? So we can have these bits by right shifting n by 1. So we can right shift n by 1 place. And in this way, finally, our n will be getting 0, right? So while our n is greater than 0, we have to do this step. And in this way, we can get our count and we can return our count easily right now for this method we have to iterate till all the number of bits position right but there is another optimized approach like uh, for 15 or uh, let's say uh, we have to find for this okay now what we will do first of all we will check this but now we will not right shift this okay what we can do we can do this operation right so 15 minus 1 is what 14 so 14 is basically 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus uh, basically 8 plus 4 plus 2 okay so it can be represented as like 15 can be represented as 1111 and 842 can be represented as this right so if we add this it will be like this so for numbers like 15, they have all the bit position as 1. So it will be almost similar. But if you take an example like for uh, let's say 8, right? So 8 will reduce down to if we end it with 7. So 8 is 1 triple 0 and 7 is 1 1 1. So if we end this, it will directly come out to be 0. So you can observe it took only one step in getting our number to zero but if we had applied the previous technique it would have taken four steps right so this is somewhat optimized approach right so i hope you have got the explanation for this problem now let's move on to the coding implementation so here you can see i have taken a vector of pair right what I have done, I have stored first of all the number as well as the index, right? For the reasons mentioned in the discussion, okay? Basically, we have to sort them according to their index if the number of set bits is 1, okay? Now, what we will do, we will sort this according to the custom comparator. So, the comparator function is taking two arguments. Basically, the containers of this vector will be of type pair of int command, right? Now we will store the number of set bits of a like a dot first it will be in set bits underscore a and set bit underscore b similarly. Now we will check if they are having the same number of set bits we will return the element having lesser index right otherwise we will return that element which is having more number of set bits. Now our set bit function goes like this initially the number of count will be zero while our n is greater than 0 we will keep incrementing the count and we will reduce our n to n and n minus 1 as discussed right and finally we can return our count so i hope you have got the question as well as the explanation and the coding implementation just in case if you have liked this video please subscribe and also don't forget to join our telegram group the link for which is in the description and if you have any doubt regarding this problem write down in the comments okay so yeah guys thanks for watching hope you liked it